here I am with Super Sound Showcase yet again, sponsored by Culture Fix. I'm your host, Robert Hodge, and this is FM 93.5 The Berg and WMBG AM 740. We are Williamsburg's radio station. And as you know, Super Sound Showcase is my chance to bring you new bands, uh, both local and regional and sometimes national. And uh, we have a very special show today. I have been trying to arrange this for a while, and uh, I became fans of this group uh, online, actually. Actually, I heard about them and uh, I was connected uh, as I am to many musicians that I have yet to meet in person. Um, but Colin Cross and I have been talking a little bit online and I discovered that I really dig the music that he makes with his partner, who is named Phil Bass Knight. And together they are Broke Royals. Welcome, gentlemen. Hey, how's it going? I am, I am so happy that you are finally here. We, uh, we struggled trying to find a date and my New Year's resolution was that all the <laughs> things I've been wanting are going to finally come to fruition. And you are the first new Super Sound Showcase of the year. Oh, that's awesome. Really? Look at that. An auspicious <laughs> start to my year, of course. Um, you guys have had, had a wonderful 2018, a lot of attention focused on your music and your songwriting. Tell us the highlights for you. What, what, what happened in the past year? Well, one of the best things about 2018 is that we were very busy as a band, which no is kidding. a lot of fun. So we got to travel <laughs> uh, all over the country, um, went down to Texas in March and played all over the East Coast uh, over the course of the year. Um, mm -hmm. And that is with our two bandmates, Tymir Gore, who plays bass, and Ben Wilson, who plays guitar. And they've been with us for about two years now. Um, so that was a lot of fun. That was the first thing that we did to kick it off. And then... Yeah, most recently. Uh, so we put out a single in October on mm -hmm. my mom's birthday, actually, on October 17th. Uh -huh. Shout out to and, Jenny. That's right. Shout out to Jenny. Uh, and that's called Bad Chemicals. And when we premiered the music video for that, uh, Billboard put it out and premiered it for us. And that yes. was that was enormous. So. I was aware of that. And that was quite a, a write-up they gave you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Like, so let's talk about Bad Chemicals because that, that so far has been the, the beginning of your notoriety let's sh shall we yeah. say in the music industry <laughs> bad chemicals phil tell us about the what inspired you to write it and all about the concept behind it sure um i had this line that i had written down uh, on a note on my phone uh, some days i've got bad chemicals and that was about two and a half years ago and uh, sometimes as music does it just sits around for a while before it gets to evolve and grow and I was then reading a book sometime later called Homo Deus by Yuval Noah Harari, who also wrote Sapiens, um, some popular bestsellers. And uh, it, it was largely focused about artificial intelligence. And um, it talked about some of the new biotech that's being used to sort of treat PTSD and depression and other things by planting a biochip in the brain. Mm -hmm. And this whole narrative sort of just sprung into my mind very quickly about someone who was um, implanting one of these for the first time, someone who was undergoing the surgery. Uh, and we worked with uh, Scott Hansen, who is a, a director and has done music videos for us in the past. And he had this whole vision, this whole narrative arc that he partnered with us to create. Um, and he found two amazing uh, actors who are both veterans uh, who acted in it and, and played out this whole narrative. And it's incredibly compelling. And um, honestly, if you watch the whole thing, it will make you cry. Oh, it yeah. is. It's a tearjerker. <laughs> it is jerker. very emotional. I yeah. agree. I, I, that was one of the first things that I saw of you guys. And, you know, I was very impressed by the, the, the fact that Billboard was very responsible and didn't really take a side either way about the controversy of the treatments. And, and, and really, I, I'm understanding it, and correct me if I'm wrong, I'm understanding that this is largely something that is being tried on veterans and, and the government is, is involved in, in these kind of treatments now for a variety of reasons, but you actually present it in such a compelling way that it brings light on a situation that, that people are not really talking about. Yeah, well, and, and that was the big thing. You know, we didn't, we don't, know what the future holds for this it could be an amazing thing right. uh, that really helps a lot of people uh but we know that it's not being talked about and it is a right. really monumentous thing monumentous thing for our our history for the legacy of, well, of, of humans course. and 
and that was what we wanted to bring attention to it and start the conversation. Yeah. And and have you had any official reaction from government sources, or, or has there been a response? There's a shutdown right now, so <laughs> that might be. Uh, well, they're not talking this. <laughs> that was most of right. us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's when did that song first come out? October. It came out in October. Yeah, yeah. we've we reached out to someone at DARPA, uh, which is a government agency who's pioneering this and didn't receive a response but we didn't expect to right. uh but we wanted to do our due diligence sure. um but the o- overwhelming response has been from uh people who have suffered from ptsd and their loved ones right. um we get really really uh impactful messages on a daily weekly oh, nice. basis uh, nice. it's really kind of um well, you're lifting the shadow off something. It, yeah, exactly. They, and people they, appreciate that so much. They do, and and you know we we and didn't know what the response would be, but well. exact. And that's exactly what they've said. Yeah, it's that's perfect. Is just taking the stigma off of it, bringing it into the light, uh, helps them cope and helps them yeah. feel seen, and and that means and I, the world to I us. I can't even begin to quote all the great artists in music that have actually made that point that your whole duty as an artist is to comment on society and to expose it to reality. So mm-hmm. that's a marvelous thing that you've started out, you know, with that kind of charge and, and you're living up to it. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So now let's talk about the fact that that is a very heavy topic for <laughs> yeah. the holiday season. So you guys are just unpredictable businessmen. And the that's next right. thing you knew, we were promoting a single called Christmas Cookie Blues out of the... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> out of the uh, nowhere. Where, where, tell us about that and what kind of response it's gotten. Well, we just thought yeah. there isn't enough, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sensual baking on the internet right now. Yeah. So we, <laughs> right. So we we did a really fun video uh, where we just had some fun baking and making Christmas cookies, mm-hmm. and um, it's just a, it's a fun song. It it was born out of the idea that, mm-hmm. oh gosh, you know, I was on my way to a holiday party. A year ago, and I thought, what if, you know, oh, I'm going to see some people that I haven't seen in a full year. And then I thought, oh, gosh, what if I dated one of these people? And what if this (laughs) was, you know, what if this was suddenly a romantic entanglement? uh, And how horrible that would be just to add to all the craziness of the holidays already. Um, And built this little story out of that. And um, it was a lot of fun. And the video was just a blast to make. Yeah. And, and the cover art for the single actually had a little gingerbread man. I, I might be mistaken, but I thought I sensed a little resemblance between you and the gingerbread man. <laughs> yeah, mostly the frown. <laughs> <always Exactly>. been... <laughs> He's known for his frown. Right. Uh, really? Uh, no, no, no. Look at this smile. No. I was going to say, I've, yeah, <laughs> I've yet to it. see it, actually. <laughs> no, no. no. I, that's why it took me by surprise. No. All right, so let's, let's go back Resting almost dimples. five years ago. And you guys both were students at Women Mary. Mm-hmm. And that's you right. became friends and eventually music partners Mm -hmm. um tell us about the history of brooke royals and how it came about and and maybe a comment or two about the name sure so phil and i met uh we were both students at william and mary and we met on the william mary programming board we were phil was actually the chair the head what is the official title of that the music chair (laughs) yeah Yeah. amp music chair and so uh phil was the student responsible for helping uh host meetings and ultimately decide on the artists that William Mary was going to bring oh, wow. in. So nice. uh, well, that well. year that or those years that he was on, we had huge artists, big Sean, Kendrick Lamar, uh, big nice. boy, yeah. third eye blind, a lot of great names. Right. Uh, and Phil is the brain behind most of that. He's, Pretty awesome. I was just the, the cat wrangler, really. The cat wrangler. We had a committee, That's true. <laughs> which Colin was on, and Colin like was it. the only one who was allowed to touch any of the technical equipment. Yeah, because it's the true. rest of us were <laughs> totally incompetent. Nice. Uh, but we <laughs> we did the also the true. ticket sales, and and Colin sure. did the actual AV work yeah. uh, with the teams that we would hire because yeah. he could actually do it. Right. Uh, and then from there, we got to talking about how he was building a studio, and he invited me to come record some demos so that he might shop them around to sure. people. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, it was really nothing more than that at first. Um, and it, you know, I got down there and showed him a few things. He said, "These are good, but they're they're not exactly songs. They're just <laughs> they're just parts of songs. Parts of songs. Well. And so, yeah. So we started working together, and I 
kind of showed him how we could take this part and move it and have it repeat and then right. we have a chorus and then now we're working now it's cooking novel ideas yeah novel <laughs> ideas you know have something that repeats in a well, song that's fantastic and that's how all works of genius come about they exactly. all yeah. start as little pieces <laughs> and little ideas and then they turn into big things yeah and the snowball uh, begins to form so Indeed. i'm excited about that and when we come back i will introduce you to the music of broke royals and phil and colin are going to perform three of their original tunes and i for one cannot wait if you have just joined us we are speaking with broke royals this is super sound showcase sponsored by culture fix on fm 93.5 the berg and wmbg am 740 i am your host robert hodge and if you are not tuned in on social media we are going to continue live while we go to this commercial break and then we will all simulcast eventually in about three and a half minutes so <laughs> join us one place or the other we'll be right back and we are back. It is Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Fix, here on FM 93.5 The Berg and WMBG AM 740. I'm your host, Robert Hodge. And our guests today, our musical guests, are Broke Royals. And they are Colin Cross and Phil Bass Knight. And gentlemen, we've had such a good time talking to you. It's time to deliver the music. Let's introduce our listeners to the beautiful music that is your uh, creation. Absolutely. What's first? This first song is called As Long As I Can See. Okay. Let's have it. As long as I can see As long as I can see your face Even when the lights have all gone down Even when the crowd is pouring out Long as... Every night, go to work and I say, said I don't mind. There's a light from an open doorway calling me inside. And I'm higher than I've ever been, but I'm not the place I want to be. And I'm trying hard to let you in, so I'm showing you the rest of me. As long as I can see As long as I can see your face Even when the lights have all gone down Even when the crowd is pouring now Long as I can see As long as I can see your face is coming my way after quiet nights getting worn down on lonesome highways a drop to make it right and I'm higher than I've ever been but I'm not the place I want to be and I'm trying hard to let you in so I'm showing you the rest of me as long as as long as I can see your face Even when the lights have all gone down Even when the clouds are pouring now Long as I can see As long as I can see your face And I'm higher than I've ever been but I'm not the place I want to be And I'm trying hard to let you in So I'm showing you the rest of me As long as I can see As long as I can see your face Even when the lights fall gone down Even when the
That was an interesting ending. I like it. <laughs> That's a good song. It's got a nice groove Thank to you. it. Thank very you marketable, much. catchy. I'll be humming that. That'll be in my head for the rest of the day. <laughs> there you go. And uh, but yeah, that's that's really good. What what inspired that song? Where did it come from? Um, it was about uh, nonverbal communication, actually. Just kind of that feeling of when you see someone you love after a long day, and right? there are no words, but it's just that rush of emotion or relief that mm -hmm. might come over you and. Um, we actually worked with Scott Hansen, the director I mentioned earlier, sure. and he um, worked with a lot of uh, deaf actors and sign language teachers, ASL teachers, okay. and uh, you can see them in our music video signing the words to the song because nice. we wanted to express nonverbal communication and that sort of love. And, what a great idea. Yeah, it was a lot and, of fun. <clears throat> you know, that, that's the second time now that you, you've brought to light something that makes me understand that you guys really are very responsible as artists and that's a wonderful thing to find in, in young young up and coming thank you. artists oh thank you so, very nice all right what's the next song we uh actually got the chance to perform it on an airplane at thirty-five thousand feet um for southwest airlines yeah to an unsuspecting cabin uh, it was a surprise <laughs> performance part of their live at 35 series so southwest knew we were doing it South but the people <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of funny. Did they charge you for your instruments? They did no, not. No, no, no. Oh, actually, that's, that's, that's nice of them yeah. to pump it. That's yeah, wonderful. Exactly. So that, that's a series that they do of, of these performances? I've never heard of that. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Need to Breathe was one of the ones that had done it before us. I, I think, think Andy Grammer's done it. Andy yeah. Grammer. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. A lot of really and fun artists. Royal, yeah. So all your favorite and, artists. And how did they find you? We were there. We were tapped as their artist on the rise for DC, for the Washington nice. DC Virginia area. Pun intended, on the rise. That's right. Uh, exactly. Yeah, that's, funny. Truly, yeah, yeah. that's very funny. Uh, well, awesome. Right. Well, let's hear what you uh, unleashed on the the unsuspecting plane audience. I like this idea. <laughs> I'll raise my lonely, lonely 
comment for you actually, Colin, because you know a, a lot of groups when they they scale down to an acoustic thing, they'll come in here with this little drum that you're using called a cajon. And a lot of times it's very good. It'll keep a basic beat and stuff. But, dude, you are making so much music come out of that box. Thank you. And Thank you. the beautiful thing is, I mean, I know I have a musician's brain, so sometimes I'm hearing things that aren't necessarily explicitly there. But you know what? You are playing that much as you would be on a full drum set. And I'm even hearing cymbal accents coming out of, <laughs> of the rhythms and the accents that you're putting into the beat that you're adding to that. So even just Thank with you. the two of you, it's a very complete sound. And that says a lot about your musicality. No, that means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, I and like that's it. I try been trying to do that. So I appreciate uh, someone. It's incredible. <laughs> acknowledging it, it. That's it makes awesome. Me sorry that this desk is so dark gone big. Yeah. Because I'm not able to see your hands, but you're just doing magic over <laughs> here. Oh, thank you. You really are. Yeah. Just keep it hidden. That's right. Well, and you guys, yeah. Don't just let your left hand or your right hand know what everybody else is doing. Right? That's right. That's but right. You know what? You guys are are really quite tight together, and and you know that five years I think has been invested wisely. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what is the, I'm, I hate that we only have one more song to go, but what is it? Tell me what's what's going to happen. So this next song is Saving Time, and it was the uh, closer on the album. Uh, and it's just one of our favorite live songs. Uh, it's also, yeah, so it's the last song on the debut album. Yeah, so you'll see. get, a, when you do this giveaway, yeah. all three of these songs are on there. Uh, we also have a video for the first two. We don't have a video for Saving Time, but we have yeah. a music video for both, for okay. Hire as well. So. Well, if you give me a great concept... When I hear this song, maybe I'll, I'll come up with something. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That is a marvelous song, and all three of them are just as wonderful and marketable as I could have imagined. <laughs> and you guys are Thank great you. guests, and I am so happy that you were able to come today. 
We're well, happy to be here. Us. Did you yeah. have a good time? Oh, absolutely. Had a blast. Well, you've been listening to Broke Royals, and this is Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Fix on FM 93.5 The Berg and WMBG AM 740. My thanks go out to Steve and to Shirley and to Jen at Culture Fix. They are our friends, and they make it possible for us to bring you these new artists every day, uh, Thursday. I almost said every day. I don't know what I'm thinking, but no, it's enough work just doing this show on Thursdays. <laughs> but uh, we are so grateful, and to you, the listeners, for tuning in, because after all, there'd be no point in doing a show if nobody was listening so thank you and like I said this week sometime when you least expect it I will be giving away a CD from these marvelous young men now you are typically as you said a four piece band and mm -hmm. you have a couple of shows one in Virginia Beach one in Richmond coming so tell us about those dates and, and where they can find you on the web yeah, so anything Broke Royals, uh, BrokeRoyals.com, Facebook, Broke Royals, Twitter, Broke Royals, Instagram, Broke Royals. Uh, and then we're playing at the Broadberry this coming Saturday. Great place. Oh, yeah, wonderful venue. Uh, and then that is so January 5th. Uh, it's an EP release for a band called Jim and I Love. And okay. then we're playing next Thursday at the Sandler Center in oh, nice. uh, Virginia Beach, Norfolk area. Uh, yeah. Well, you guys are off to a marvelous start. I know that great things are going to happen to you. Thank you. And I like being part of it in the beginning. So <laughs> don't forget about us when you're rich and famous. And, and will you call yourselves Rich Royals then? Will it change? <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when I exactly. come to it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we're going back to the music that you love after a few words from our sponsors. But this has been a wonderful episode of Super Sound Showcase. And in fact, so far, it's my favorite of the whole year. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs>